Well, it's a beautiful day after Christmas Day. The toddler had his birthday and had a great time. He's upstairs taking a nap, so I'm not gonna be too loud down here today. But uh, some of the painting area ended up being part of the gift wrapping division of the household. And so, but today uh, I'm coming down, finally got down, it's in the afternoon, it's a beautiful day. And uh, God bless my family. They got a bunch of canvases for me, big, big jugs of oh, heavy body acrylics, white and black, a couple of them. So we've got this, we're going to be doing some stuff today. Oh, look at that. We got some big jugs of heavy body. It's a brand I haven't tried before, so it'll be fun. I've not used this, but we'll see how, how it works. So I'm going to do a painting demo later today. Um, I'm gonna probably work on, I think these, oh man, I can't wait to make more space. Probably, but um, I'm looking forward to doing some painting and videoing and uh, I'll be sharing that with you pretty soon. So new materials, can't wait to try it out. Keep on painting. It's not gonna quite like pop into your canvas. I love my family supporting me on my addiction. Two of these 15 by 30s. Set those over there. And then I think I'm going to throw a couple of these little 8 by 10s that they bought me too. I've got enough room to do a couple different sizes here. Types, I think, to challenge yourself to try new, new techniques. It's clear. So I'm going to push myself today. Plus, I have these headphones in, so I can listen to music and talk to you. But I really don't like these headphones. I'm going to have to get some over my ear ones because I can't hear myself talking either. So I'm going to be working on some little pond scenes. So my thumbnails that I do are just ideas. So I go into these paintings with at least a general sense. And I'm going to uh, try to do some water feature pond views this time. It's been a while since I've done these, but I thought I'd give it a shot today. I'm gonna lay down some different color first, and uh, then I'll start moving the paint around. So I also have some new paint that my mom got for me. It's supposed to be a heavy body, so we'll see how heavy it is. Just throw that over there. I should probably put a garbage can over here for when I'm painting. Yeah, it's not real heavy. I can see I'm gonna have to, probably have to, uh, wow. Probably have to cut this top off at a certain point to get most more of it out. It's not as heavy as the uh, Liquitex. <laughs> so I think I'm going to lay down a base coat today first. And then... I like to decant these house paints so that they become thicker. Get a little more plasticity out of them, a little more sculptural aspect to them. Yeah, these headphones definitely aren't working for me. That's too weird. Maybe it's just the music. Here, I'm going to change the music. To 
feel like I need some blues today. fun for me is to play and getting to play with this stuff a little bit. Move the material around. It's so plastic and so alive. So I guess we've decided on blues rock for the moment. down. Hmm. I think that gives me enough to kind of lay it out. dark. Laying out the base colors, then I'll go back in and work, rework it. today apparently.
Stormy Monday's playing now. I like to leave some of the thicker parts. A little more impasto, a little bit more sculptural in nature. I like the visual interest of the heavier clay body. I think it adds to it. And that definitely comes from my sculpture background and my pottery, ceramics background. And I like taking the excess paint and bringing it into the edges, almost like a border. Still dealing with a cold, in case you didn't notice. The little guy. On Christmas, the poor guy. Got a fever going, too. So, we're just in really great shape right now. <laughs> Too muddy a color on the palette, I'm so I grow that. I'm gonna calm down some of this stuff here. palette knife to pull this paint and hopefully create kind of a water lily effect. So I'm looking for a representation, not a... I want just enough information there to go, yeah, that could be a water lily pad. The thing with abstract or abstract representational, you don't necessarily need the whole image to say, oh yeah, that's a water lily, or that's a flower, or something. You know what? I don't like it. It's a nice thing. Not liking that much. So I'm gonna go another route with this little bit. I might try to finish these without scraping them back down. What can I say? I try to do something that's more realism, more 
traditional quote unquote. I can't do it.